First question is from Caitlin T. Armstrong. What is a proper full range of motion for a squat? Is it bad to lock out your knees? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the answer I'm going to give is actually the, the answer for proper range of motion for any exercise. So the proper range of motion is the fullest range of motion that you have complete control, strength, and stability to support. Okay, so if that means that the most you can do is a half squat, because anything outside of a half squat, you lose stability, you lose strength, uh, you lose balance, then that means that you have to train in that half squat. And then your goal is to improve that functional range of motion, improve your ability to go deeper while maintaining stability and control. This is true for all exercises. Now, the second part about locking out your knees there's nothing wrong with straightening your legs up at the top of a squat. Now, here's the problem. If you lock your knees and relax your muscles so that the joints are supporting the weight, yeah. that's the problem. So it's like if I lock my elbows out on the end of a push-up and then I relax my body and allow my joint being locked out to support me, well, that's the issue. But if I straighten my arms out or straighten my legs out and then stay tight with my muscles, Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Now the only, the only yeah, any of, any of the joints that you're going to lock out and not support with your muscles is going to be an issue. I mean, this is why, like, if you're standing up in a, in a wedding and they tell you not to lock your knees, you might pass out. Like, there's all kinds of issues uh, you're going to run into that. But if you can support yourself with muscles, um, you know, in, in the lockout, um, obviously that's something to to aspire to achieve. Now the only thing I don't like about that answer, even though it's the right one, is that. Somebody will hear uh, strength, stability, and control and think that because they can do it, even if their form breaks down, that they still are okay. Yeah, no. In other words, so like, you'll see someone, they'll do a squat and they can get ass to grass, but they also round their shoulders, their forward, their forward head, their chest falls way over their knees. The bar path now travels right. in front of the, in front of the knees, the heels might raise up a little bit and, be, but they technically can do it. They can get down there. And so I think that you, you have to elaborate a little bit on what strength and stability and control really means. It means you should be able to perform that movement with uh, proper form all the way through without any breakdown because even though you may be able to get deeper in the squat if there's any breakdown in your form in, in during that uh you know time you've got to stop at that point and right. so i think that's where people kind of mess up is they think they see somebody go ass to grass and go oh, i can get down there but they also heels are raising and like i said forward shoulder and head and the bar path is now traveling in front of the knees and so that's where I think this gets a little nuanced is you may think that you're you're able to go that deep, but for some people they can't do that with with proper form. No, you can have a, mm -hmm. you can have a full range of motion without good control and stability. And that's when the pro here's the deal. There are no dangerous exercises per se. There's only dangerous technique, form, lack of control, lack of stability. So it could be a barbell curl, one of the most basic exercises that exists. If you lack the control and stability for some reason in your elbow, then a barbell curl now becomes dangerous. Then we can pick an exercise that's extremely technical, an overhead squat, right? So this is where you have like a, it's like a, doing a snatch. You have a barbell up above your head, arms locked out, and you do a full squat. Very technical, requires excellent control, stability, and mobility. If you have all those prerequisites, if you have perfect form, perfect control, very safe exercise. Now, some exercises require more uh, prerequisites than others, right? Some are much more technical. A squat is a pretty technical exercise. But if you can do a full range of motion squat and you're doing it perfect and you've got the control, everything's tight, you own, essentially you own every part of the movement, then it's perfectly safe and it's better to train with the full range of motion there's just more benefits that you derive do you from think it. it's become a, a really technical exercise because it's it, it's actually a fundamental movement that most of <coughs> us have lost oh yeah the guys at squat university yeah. did a really good post like a couple weeks ago and I, I remember reading it and going like i totally agree with this and that way and they were talking about just getting back to a place where that is a normal movement instead of stop looking at it like this great strength building exercise that people should do to get big massive legs and stuff and it's just 
we should all have this ability to be able to sit down in that squatted position. And the truth is we've just, we've lost totally. that ability. And because we've yeah. lost that ability, it now makes that exercise such a technical, difficult movement because there's so many problems that people have with getting down in that position. Oh, totally. I mean, okay, look at another movement pattern that humans literally evolved to do. There's very few things that humans do physically better than other animals. One of them is run. Okay, we actually, in the animal kingdom, are some of the best distance travelers that you'll find anywhere. You can actually out-trek most animals uh, for distance. And this is because of the way we evolve. we got these big knees, these huge glutes. We, we use very little energy when we run. The problem is we forget how to run, so we lose the skill. So then we decide, I'm going to lace up my shoes and go running. And people, it's the number one thing that injures people is, is running. But if you ran since you were could walk and you did so barefoot and you always ran, you never stopped, it would be a very safe, uh, you know, great, movement for us. We evolved to do it, but we just stop. So as far as squatting is concerned, think about it this way. When do you squat ever anywhere? I mean, yeah. you might squat down on the toilet, but even that doesn't look like a squat. People tend to plop down. We don't ever squat. So we just totally lose that, that movement. Well, this is a bit of an aside, but uh, I was thinking about this and I know, um, uh, strong by science or, or science by strong <laughs> Max Schmarzo. I forget his handle, but, um, he was talking about how we, uh, get back into these rec league sports and uh, after you know years of of not training specifically in, in an athletic direction um and, and then jump into and meanwhile let's say you are working out let's say you are in the gym constantly and lifting weights but uh, you're sticking in the hypertrophy style training uh, now you have to explosively move you have to add all this rotation and and they wonder why all of a sudden uh, you know, these, these injuries occur and, and these, you know, joint pain and, and aches and all that. Um, but it's, it's really like what you maintain and, and, and what you train your body for um, in terms of, you know, what, what you're going to be able to keep up and, and, and have a high performance with. Yeah. 